So gardening doesn't need to be expensive, difficult, hard work, all that kind of stuff. We don't need to be in the garden all day every day to grow our own food. So here's a little video uh, with some information to ease your watering pressures and to grow abundant fruit and vegetables. Uh, hope you enjoy. So here's my flat irrigation swale garden bed type uh, set up here. So I used to just put the sprinkler on, sprinkler on here and it never really got down to the roots. I'd leave it on sometimes for quite a while and then uh, I'd come back and check it. Look watered, there was water everywhere but it really never got deep. Um, I think there was a lot of wasted water so what I've done is tear it down so once it gets full it goes to the next one obviously it's almost like flow forms and everything gets really well soaked in and then I don't have to do it for a number of days depending on the weather um, so I think I'm saving water it's really easy and it's more natural so have a think about that for your irrigation needs because uh, I don't like the idea of um, drippers because you've got to check them all the time. They only do a certain area. Um, pipes and irrigation type stuff. You know, you, you need money and you need <clears throat> maintenance. Um, pipes going through gardens, digging holes, you know. So what I've done here is just uh, a more natural method what you could do in area where you don't have access to supplies so um, let's just see how it goes all I've done here is weed these garden beds compost them liquid liquid manure them um, mulch them and water them uh, so what's left is salad from uh, winter and it's looking beautiful so this was just all self sown and until a couple of days ago it wasn't watered even the ground was really hard dry there wasn't even a canopy oh, holy moly there wasn't even a canopy up there and um, so they've done really well to get to where they are so now I'm thinking with all this water and food and mulch protection and love they will grow really well so I hope that kind of uh, make sense for you and soon I'll fill this up quite a bit more and you can see the rest of the garden beds down here it's pretty hard dry but there's a lot of potential you just need to think about that contour working on contour using the lie of the land to benefit your situation and using the energy this contour that I'm on it's an energy that uh, um, that's uphill see so that's an energy a force that uh, we can use to our advantage and this is the example one of the examples so enjoy guys hope that was uh, useful to someone <laughs>